welcome back. You know, we're still waiting for that 11 o'clock. That's going to be the next. But we need to know what's actually outstanding, or 1130. What's outstanding? Let's go to Lara Yamada at the state capitol. Yeah, you mentioned that uh, one car that's left out there. What happened was, um, well, we don't ex know exactly what happened to the car, but for some reason that was misplaced. They do know where it is now. They have to go and get that car and bring that back, and that was from that uh, EVA district. But there still is a small percentage of mail-in uh, votes just from today, just from today that still need to be counted. So when you're talking about super tight races between uh, Trevor Ozawa and Tommy Waters, is there a possibility that it might make a difference? Yeah, that is possible. As far as what's happening with the GMO vote, it seems extremely unlikely. Uh, Kauai is closed altogether. However, some of those mail-in uh, ballots are coming from Maui, the Big Island, and of course Oahu here. But with a difference of 840 votes, again, seems extremely unlikely that that's going to happen. So we're still waiting for that final count at 1130, as we expected, just a, a small percentage left, a couple of uh, votes out there to be counted still. But ultimately, as far as the trend they've been following, saying that we're going to get a low voter turnout, it looks like it's going to be uh, as they expected. The last general election, 436,683 votes. That was 61.9%. Uh, we're at about 340,000 uh, tonight with just a little bit more coming in. So unfortunately, those predictions are very likely going to come true that for whatever reason, uh, many of those voters out there that had an opportunity to vote chose not to. And no doubt, uh, over the coming days and weeks and months, that is going to be a big uh, topic of discussion. So that's it for the time being. Again, uh, one more coming out in about 40 minutes. So I'll send it back to you guys. Wow, nail biter tonight yeah. unexpectedly. Mm -hmm. Wow.